Wow! That was strange! The other me took control for a longer period of time! <laughs> Twinkle? Where are we? Last thing JJ remembers was, was, was playing with the sparkly people. They were so nice! Where, where the sparkly and the zippity do you go? Oh? Best JJ doesn't ask. Oh no! Did, did, did the other me get them too? Oh no. JJ really liked the sparkly people. They were so nice. J J JJ didn't want them to be eaten. JJ remembers playing with them. The, the, the other me, the other me, getting angry and taking control. And now JJ's here. But there's nothing we can do, Twinkle. The, the other me wants us to do all the red and make all the red. But JJ doesn't like losing all these friends. They don't deserve to be made to sleep forever. JJ's starting to wonder if it's worth protecting our friends at home if so many people hear these keep being made the redsies. But, Twinkle, we have no choice for now. Because if we don't, he'll kill Twinkle. He'll make Twinkle sleep forever, and JJ will not use Twinkle. So we're going to have to go to the next world, Twinkle, and just hope for the bestest. But don't say anything, Twinkle, because then he, the other me, would do the nasties. Okay. JJ, JJ will think of something. JJ promises. <laughs> Here we go again, Twinkle! <laughs> Doctor Who! <laughs> oh, Twinkle! We're on a, 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 a mountain! Big giant rock thing! What is this? What is this place? Ah! <laughs> Ho oh, oh, ho! Twinkle! 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 Look! The mis mystical peepers! What? By the gods... is that? And where did these two come from? How did our honor guards let them get through? For heaven's sake, Lolita. Didn't your mages put up any protective barriers? They had one damn job. Don't be a fool, Sarana. Our wards are unrivaled. Anything trying to teleport from this world would have come through a portal in pieces. So these two... They didn't come through this world? So they came from another world? Fascinating. Huh. Welcome to our world, travelers. <laughs> wow! There's a big bearded man! Big, big, muscly bearded man! Hello, Mr. Bearded Moon! Such a friendly little guy. What the hell is going on? I hate to be rude, but we are in the middle of a trial here. Wasn't the dragon about to land? It flew off as these two appeared. Strange. Hm. Bring out the hunter regardless. Oh, what is this? Well, this is awfully bizarre, eh? Well, these two teleport in out of nowhere. That dragon flies off. But Scarly seems really relieved about it. And now the poor hunter is being dragged out in chains. Wait. Who are these? This is not right. This. This is not right at all. Something really is not right. Pillars, you need to unchain me now. These two should not be here. Oh, wow! The Mr. Moon is wearing chains, Twinkle! JJ used to wear chains. They're similar. The Mr. Man's chains is much nicer than JJ's, though. Who is this little red person? They're not like any human I've ever seen. 
And there's such a fun, violent power coming from them. I can smell so much blood coming from the red guy. <laughs> oh, 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 wow! A poopy! A poopy, fluffy poopy! Oh, 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 Twinkle, t- c- can I play with the poopy piece? The child has no fear. Did he just call Kusith a puppy? I am not a puppy. I am a fairy harbinger of death. Ha, ha, boonga, ha, boonga, harbinger, <laughs> ha, boonga, <laughs> can I play with this, with, with the ha, boonga puppy peas, can they, they, pat the puppy peas, oh, pat the puppy peas, you <laughs> dare actually ask to pet me, you What? <laughs> I suppose the fairy god of death is just a puppy after all. I suppose no one ever offered to pet them before. This is getting too damn weird. This is not right. Andros, come here. Please. Master, I can't just approach you. You're on trial and I- Andros, please. I need to tell you something. You will not break protocol. Do not approach the prisoner, human. I will have order restored to this trial. Yay! Twink Eye, is it okay? Yay! <laughs> pet me! Pet yes! Pet pet me. Doggy doggy puppy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Yes! So fluffy! <laughs> fluffy and pretty! Cease this mockery now! There is a damn trial to decide the hunter's fate. Hello there, Missy. Wow. I hate to be rude, wow. but who are you? Wow. Your clothes are mighty weird. You definitely ain't from around here. Trust me, I would know. From another reality. But there ain't no other reality. Not yet, anyway. So you're from the future. Then that means there'll be other realities, mate. Wow. Is it really going to get that far? Hey, hey, little red lad. What's with him? There is definitely something about him that ain't right. But also, something quite familiar. Come to think of it, looking at him, looking at my mate Horns over him. Hang on a minute. Hunter, are you sure? What did I say about approaching the prisoner? I am. There is something inside that boy that is incredibly dangerous. Do you think this is a trap? I don't think the boy has a choice. You there. Girl, do you? Silence, Hunter. You are on trial and have no right to speak. The trial is not important at this moment. Lalita, look into the boy. What do you mean? Wait. Oh my, this... This can't be. But how can he... What is going on? Lolita, you're shaking. The Empress Siren? She, she's... What is she doing on her knees? My lord, what are you doing here and inside that child, please? If I or my people have displeased you, then please do not punish us. I swear we will make it right. What the hell is going on? She looks terrified. You need to let me out of these chains! Now, Andros! Please! You! Oh, the other me wants to come out. But JJ likes the people. They're so interesting and fun. But JJ isn't allowed to say too much because the other me says it will spoil the story. JJ would love to say hello to JJ's and Susta. But JJ is. The Bujin! The other me says too much happens in this world to set this that sets the stage for the future. But he still wants to have fun. Twinkle the other me wants wants wants, wants Twinkle to know that the fishy lady over there is also a twinkle 
and Susta. What? You, girl, you are what my race becomes. This cannot be. You look no different than a human. No, an utter mockery. The other me says that. Oh, the other me says that this is your fault, Lucia. The other me says that soon a, a big war will come, and most of the peoples all. No, not most of the people. All of the peoples here will sleep forever. But the other me and his peoples will have all the funds bathing in the red. And the Suins will make choices that condemn them forever. But he knows. How to prevent all this from happening? Wait. So you actually mean to tell us that the chieftain Maverick, a creature feared by past demon kings and a creature of the clan that my people have served for years, is truly inside this child? But he is from the future. This is insanity. What does he mean, a war that will kill us all? This cannot be true. What war does he speak of? The, the Demon Lord? King Chiron, whatever it is, we will fight it. We shouldn't trust the words of some nameless child that just popped out of a damn portal. Such are the words of a foolish human mortal. Hold your tongue should you condemn us all here. The Lord Maverick is inside that child, and it is no King Chiron. Even King Chiron would avoid this guy. Oh, this is such a treat. I think something violent is about to go down. <laughs> Fishy lady, the other me says that new amount of worship you do now will make up for the blunders that you are soon to commit. But this pleases him. But he also says that you can sleep forever now to make it better. No. No! Please, my lord! Call our warriors to this destination now. We are all in danger. Enough to make the damn Siren Empress fear for her life. People, really? He's just a little boy. Fool! No, I cannot die here. Whatever mistakes my people make are theirs to make. The future cannot be altered just because it displeases you, my lord. But wait. If you possessed a human somehow, then that means you are without your true body. You there, girl. If you are what my people become, then tell me. Did you bind the Lord Maverick to you? You made a contract. Then, if I overpower your bond with him, then I can dispel the Lord Maverick's soul. Without a body, he cannot harm us. And a pathetic remnant of my people cannot match a pure-blooded empress. I just need to sing, and...
me out of these chains now! What abomination is that? The boy just changed. Look out! Lolita, look out! <laughs> Oh, little Empress Siren, you failed us again. But like before, you will never control us. And now you have no throat to sing with. You cannot eat. Everyone. Create some damn distance! Get away from that thing! It's a damn maverick! We are out of our depth here! I heard the mavericks were apex demons beyond the power of any other breed. But this is insane! He tore poor Lolita's throat out and there was nothing any of us could do in time! This... this is what a true demon is. It's horrifying. No! Not just a demon! It's a void maverick! By the gods, free me! Give me my sword! Demon girl, Andros, Bard, for heaven's sake! I can't help if I'm in these chains! This shouldn't happen! Not like this! I, I should stop it! But I just can't! Not yet! I can't do any of that yet! This world is so fascinating! So many of you will influence what is to come. We can expose it all now. But we are not here to deliver now. Plus the listeners could not even understand a simple puzzle. They would probably not even understand the law. We are here to create chaos! This is so exciting! I can't wait to see the big guy kill some more! Can I have their souls? Please! Cute doggy! You can have their souls! We will have their parts! Pew! Pew! Yippee! You damn traitor! Traitor? I was never on your side. I was here by command of my master. But this is just too much fun. Make sure to kill the hunter. Oh, bloody hell! Hey, Horns, take this girl and get her out of here. Hey? Hey? You what, Missy? You won't leave? You can't leave the boy? Well, JJ is going to kill everyone here if we don't do something. Let me out of these damn chains! Now! Oh, the chains one. The legendary hunter. The one that was once known as Immortus. Soon you are too problematic. We will kill you first. You will not lay a hand on my master. <sighs> Andros! No! I will assist you to glorious battle. Andros! No! Don't do it! Derek! You're no match at all for it! <laughs> Swords and axes! <laughs> Primitive! Let me see if the blood of a dwarf and ancient human is as red as we remember. No! Master, I'm so sorry. I failed. Oh my god! Poor Andros! He's been cleaved in half! <laughs> yes! Brave human warrior! Decorate the ground! With all the red as it spurts out from your severed parts! 
Ah, oh, claws slice through you. So nicely. Andros, I will smite the monster in the name of my fallen brother. <laughs> 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 What? My mighty axe just bounced off. Give me this axe. It's over. Never. I will fight you until the bitter end. Let go of me. Dwarven heads are thick, but still pop like grapes between our fingers. Nice, tasty crush! <laughs> Damn foolish dwarf. I said to create distance. Now you will die like the foolish human did. Gradchalk, what is taking that damn goblin so long? Little elf, such a beautiful, elegant race. We miss hunting your kind. Your people live in hiding in our world. The world Shadows of your former selves after the war with your dark elven relatives. Nearly made extinct by the actions of a powerful necromancer. But this is a tale for another time. We like seeing a living, fresh elf in the flesh. Flesh for us to tear. Stay back, chieftain. I am not some common prey for you to feast on. No. You are wiser than the rest. Your kind has survived countless war of the existence of time, thanks to your small brain. We heard you communicating with the Goblin Lord as he arrived. You sensed danger straight away and communicated with him telepathically to do the sneakies away from the chaos in order to summon your man. How did you know that? We can sense all. Nothing can escape us at our full power. We would love to play with an army of elves and goblins, but we sense that the hunter's power over there is growing. Soon his chains will break, and he will return to his original form. It will be problematic for even us. So we will leave this world. But first, we want to taste Elven flesh. You shall not taste me this day. I can outrun you long enough for help to- Gotcha! Treacherous dog, get off of my way! Not a chance. Stupid elf! You aren't getting away from this chaos! You elves always think you can run away whenever you want. But you sweet bite of death when it comes for you. I got her! I got her! Can I tear her up? Please, please, please! <laughs> the fairy dog amuses us. You may eat her. We shall enjoy the display of pretty elven legs as it decorates your fur. Yay! You fucking mutt! Get off of me! You the blood of my people! Curse your rancid form for an eternity! <laughs> Yes, such pretty red. Good doggy. Oh my god, I, I don't know what to do. Scarly, what do we do? This is, I can't do that. I, I can't do that. This is all too soon. I'm powerless at the moment. 
No, Hans, no! Don't try and get in the way! This is far too dangerous! Even for you, we get demon fire! That is enough! You will not hurt anyone else! Hunter! <laughs> Legendary hero! Will you play with us? With your true powers? Or will you get in? Time is up. We will tear the horns from the head of the girl that you seem to care for and pierce her eyes with them. Stay away from her! No. She looks tasty. Let me see her pretty demon half-breed leg. If no one will free me, then I will do it myself. May the chains of the Tormentor be undone! No! Hunter! 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 No! Horsey isn't here to regulate the power! If you do that, you'll set it all free! The Matherick will kill everyone if I do not. I'm sorry, but I will not lose Demon Girl to this! I decree that the noose of the oppressor be undone! No! No! Scully! We're all dead! We're all dead now! Yes! The end is here! It's finally here! What a delight! Okay! <laughs> It is time to go, Twinkle! <laughs> we are not foolish enough to play with the Immortus, to play with the End itself. Immortus, you can show up to play, but it seems Immortus has will reduce this world to nothing before we can play in even more red. Let us go. Oh god! You doomed us all! Horns! Horns! Come here! Oh god, I can't, I've got to do this now! Come on, Scarly! Run! The end becomes me! Um, little siren, you seem confused. That world is the first world. Every other world that exists comes from it, breaks off from it, and expands into its own. We did not expect to be able to travel there. It is so far away in the past. But our power is simply that great at the moment. <laughs> we are siphoning unlimited power from a super sneaky source. Super sneaky sauce! <laughs> but we are not foolish enough to face the power that is within the hunter. But we had fun in bringing Immortus out of him. What, Twinkle? Why did we spare the demon girl? You think it is because we had a measure of compassion? Foolish little siren. We could not hurt the demon girl. For certain reasons. If she were to die, then we would not have a body to possess. We will leave that for you to think about. <laughs> what? He could have killed the demon girl by now. No. 
the one with the infant dragon, will have taken her away to safety. Bye now. While Immortus devours all that he sees. He is capable of escaping such danger. There is more to him than meets the eye. <laughs> but we do not care to feed you with such lore. We only care to feed ourselves, and we fed on the chaos that we needed there. Soon, we will be truly free. So you can all sit in the madness of unanswered questions while we continue to kill all the characters in the Reaper of Creation's worlds that you all hold so dear to your hearts. And now that we think of it, we are so close to finally reaching our goal. Just one more push. We can smell it. <laughs> we can taste it. So close. The world that will truly cause pain for all that love the Reaper of Creation stories. It is time to make the most loved character of the Reaper's world into the prettiest, most villainous red. <laughs> <laughs>